to Jessie Small Homestead and I'm Jess. Today I'm going to show you products that I've used in the past to build my garden on a small budget and new items that I'm going to try this year. Stay tuned. Alright, on the last video I showed you my extensive seed collection and today I went to the Dollar Tree to see kind of what they had. I was super excited when I saw their seeds out. Today I ended up getting some cucumbers. Now these are the straight eight cucumbers. You can't really see the glare. There it is. Well, kind of maybe. Um, and I got two packages of those and a package of bunching onions. And I got some basil. Now they do, I believe, have Italian basil there, but I just got the regular kind. Um, and these are four for a dollar, so that's a pretty good deal. Seeds can be fairly expensive, especially when you're starting from ground zero. So me personally, I would get on social media and maybe talk to the community and see who gardens, and maybe they can give you a couple seeds. If not, then go to the Dollar Tree and get you some seeds. I've used these seeds in the past, and I've never had any problems. I figure they're 25 cents a pack, so if 50% of them germinate, then I'm still better off than not buying them. Now I'm going to show you some things around the house that you can use for free to build your garden. You can pretty much use any containers around the house. This right here is an old yogurt container. Now you may think that this is going in the recycle bin or in the garbage, but to me, I look at it as plant labels. I would take my scissors and I would cut it into little strips and write the variety on there that way. Pop bottles or water bottles. Put a little pinhole in it and use this to water your seedlings because the seedlings are so small that you don't want to wash away your seeds and maybe splash them into the next cell and then get everything all mixed up. So if you're not going to bottom water, which I'll explain to you what bottom watering is, probably on my next video, um, then I would do it this way because it just does a little tiny stream and you squeeze it just real lightly and it'll trickle out. When you're scouring your house looking for something to start your seeds in, consider using one of these. It's one of those plastic shoe boxes, I believe. You'd probably get them for free. Um, I would, in the past, I would put holes in the bottom of it and just put soil in it and lay my chopsticks on top and, and make a grid and do my seedlings that way. Now, everything is going to be planted together, but just take a spoon when you start getting your true leaves, which I'll talk about. Um, just take a spoon and dig them out and then up pot them into what I did was I used styrofoam cups and you get a package of styrofoam cups and you take a pencil and you just poke holes in the bottom for drainage and that's what I would do that way. Um, I did purchase from the Dollar Tree these little four inch pots and they do already have drainage holes. Now there is I believe 11. Yeah there's yeah there's about 11 in here. Um, so I'm going to use these for my starts and maybe write when I go to sell my starts, which I sell starts here locally in the town. Um, then I'll go ahead and write the variety because I really don't want to give up my my plant tags. I'm kind of kind of like them. So yeah, that I think these will work really well. Oh. soil, the most important part of starting seeds. I picked up this potting soil. Now you really don't want to start your seeds in potting soil. The reasoning is, is because there's a lot of bark chips, sticks, and maybe rocks. But while I was at the store, I felt through the bag and it feels pretty fine. I went ahead and cut open a bag of this just to show you. This is what we ended up with. Now, there is some sticks, but where I got it, it was a dollar, and I figure I can pick it out for a dollar. I wouldn't 
be too concerned about it. When you're out looking for a medium to plant your seeds in, you're gonna see a few options. Those options are either garden soil, potting soil, or a seed starting mix. Grab the seed starting mix. The reasoning is, is because seed starting mix is a real fine material. It's made from the outside of a coconut. The little fibrous um, hairs on the outside, that's what that's made out of. When you're planting things like tomato seeds or herbs, those seeds are really small. So they need to have a thin material to burst through the soil. Whatever growing medium you do decide to purchase, keep in mind that seed starting mix doesn't have any nutrients in it. So later on, you will have to add nutrients once you do start to pot up your plants. All right, well today we talked about a few things that you can use around the house to get your seeds going. But don't limit your options. Think about maybe making a greenhouse out of a garbage bag. Try it. Go out and grab your medium, your seeds, and I'll see you here next time. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.